could you share your thoughts about um, YouTube in the marketplace and yeah. opportunities uh, ar ar and challenges perhaps for brands? Yeah, you know, I, I think YouTube is, is creating their own stratification of, of their content. I think obviously, uh, you know, they took to heart a lot of the brand safety challenges of last year, became uh, more the content cop either via technology or, or human intervention, uh, creating tiers of content and, and, and adding in that brand safety la layer. Uh, I think it is, you know, still sitting on their roots and in, in their uh, kind of uh, ability to create stars out of uh, uh, individual content publishers and each of those guys uh, and, and women uh, developing their own channels and their own brands and uh, you know the, the notion that was talked about this this uh, uh, monetization as a opportunity not as a right for these guys I think is has really uh, in a lot of cases uh, upgraded a lot of that type of content also pushed a lot of these guys kind of out of the business and out of, out of the space. So I think there has been a, a leveling up of this sponsorable content within uh, within YouTube. I, you know, I do I do start wondering though about uh, the discoverability of content, and as you start looking at whether it is through OTT or, or these channels of, of layering more and more content, more and more channels into the ecosystem, how the consumer is uh, going to be able to find it. You know, I find that, that YouTube often has kind of a, a tunneling effect and you start watching a video of a, a certain nature and a certain type and then all of a sudden you're just seeing hundreds of videos there and you almost end up with your own blinders on, on in, in terms of the content that you might have watched once or twice or whatever. So how, how are new types of content getting exposed to consumers and how do they become part of uh, an individual's content consumption uh, ecosystem, I guess.